Hey you guys, so I am working on a new memory verse, Romans 13, 14. But put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. Romans 13, 14. But put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. For me, I started memorizing this verse because of struggles with food. That that is where I find myself gratifying my fleshly desires is with food. So I thought, I'm going to memorize this verse. But when I got out my Bible and started looking at it in context, it really jumped out at me in a new way. So look with me at Romans chapter 13. Let's start at verse 8. Owe no one anything except to love each other. For the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Besides this, you know the time that the hour has come for you to wake from sleep. For salvation is nearer to us now than when we first believed. The night is far gone. The day is at hand. So then, let us cast off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us walk properly as in the daytime, not in orgies and drunkenness, not in sexual immorality and sensuality, not in quarreling and jealousy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. So in this context, I just um, was seeing how it's not just, uh, you know, not to commit sexual immorality and drunkenness and sensuality, which I would put food in that category, but also not to quarrel and be jealous. Have you thought of those as fleshly desires? Sometimes fleshly desires aren't just um, don't drink, don't smoke, don't have sex. But sometimes fleshly desires are don't quarrel and be jealous. Love your neighbor as yourself. This is my commandment, that you love one another because love is from God. So go love somebody today and don't make provision for your flesh. See you later.